So just for clarity, this uh, this isn't my copy. I'm uh, I'm holding it for a friend. This this isn't mine. I don't even know what Senran Ka Kagura is even. <laughs> Welcome to an unboxing of Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash Limited Edition. Now, just a note, uh, as you can probably tell with the thickness of this parcel, this is not the super deluxe edition that comes with the Daki Makura. This is kind of the step-down one, but it's still a limited edition. Anyway, as you can tell, I've not opened this yet. I'm quite excited, but I'd like to do it on camera to get my reaction and hopefully get some clicks and validation that my channel is actually worth it. Although, spoilers, let's face it, it's probably not. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and open it. There's nothing interesting about the cardboard here, particularly, apart from the fact that it's incredibly strong. Uh, this doesn't rip off very well. Okay, tell you what, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. I just had to run my fingers over it. Now, as I said, not sure what to expect here. It is a very long parcel for one game, so I'm expecting, because I know there's a Blu-ray that comes with it, maybe there's an extra bit or something, I'm not sure. Right, I do apologise, that was a bling on my tablet there, that I'm using to film. Let us open up and view the delights of Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash. Ooh, okay then. Uh, wow, that's actually a lot larger than I anticipated the box to be. That's cool. No paperwork. No thank you for Marvelous. Okay, then. Well, let's throw that to the side because anime titties is why we're here. As you can see there, this is the Girls of Paradise edition. Some of you subscribe to my channel for the Boruto reviews and uh, Pokemon card openings may be wondering what the hell you're in for here. Anyway, there's a high chance that if you're watching this, you already know what Senran Kagura is and you're probably not shocked. If you are shocked by this... I don't know, downvote it or report it or something for being too offensive. Anyway, shine with all your might, exclamation mark. Uh, I think that tells you what comes with it, but we will deal with that in a second. Ah, cool, and that's the comes with the DLC as well, which usually I'm not massively fond on, um, you know, supporting DLC practices, but in general, games like this, I'm quite happy to support because, well, there's no political aspect to it. It's just a pure game about girls and big boobs, which is which is something that is not so common uh, in the current gaming atmosphere at the moment. I have opened the side. Uh, as I said, we'll go through what's in here exactly in a second. Here's some images from the game. I probably should talk a bit about the game as well, actually. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's a third-person shooter, from what I've seen. I've only seen one trailer, but it kind of seems like a more anime, lewd version of Splatoon, in a sense, if that makes sense. And let us lift the lid, which is coming off very slowly because I do not want to damage this. Nothing on the reverse. Okay, then. Wow. Okay, so we have... I really hope I can put this all on YouTube. I don't think there's anything particularly lewd in this really just you know lots of anime girls pbs which i believe is an american tv show uh what does that say there we'll never know ah hang on turn around kagura peach peach splash uh ah, oh nice original soundtrack and opening animations right so this is the dvd and cd case uh oh wow that's a lot of tracks actually so I, um, the one thing I dislike about some tracks that come with games sometimes is that you'll only get about six tracks or something, which is quite disappointing because, well, the whole point of a soundtrack is you want all of the soundtrack, but wow, that's actually really cool. There's like, you know, I know some of these are like victory themes, they're probably about 20 seconds long or something, but that is actually pretty impressive. And then, uh, Oh, okay, so these are, you know, the credits of the people. So, uh, I don't know who that is, the cat girl. Uh, is that Minori? I can't... Oh, God, the original Heavy Joe girl with the umbrella. I can't remember her name. Ooh, okay, so I believe this is the... Um, Nar Nara Rock, I believe, is probably the people who make the thing. So this is the opening animations, uh, as you can tell here by the certification and the Blu-ray uh, symbol. And that, of course, is the original soundtrack. 
with Asuka on the front because she is the main girl. Warrior, who are these? Is that Yomi? I can't quite tell. Uh, right, well, this is pretty cool, and I like that it comes in a little cover. I will probably be listening to the soundtrack a lot because, uh, apart from you know all the fan service and everything, the soundtrack to the Senran Kagura games are actually pretty darn cool. The first 3DS game had a fantastic soundtrack that I regularly listen to. Okay, so this is the art book, I believe. Narrow Rock. Oh, he Hibarok Party. So that's Hibari, obviously. Uh, what is this? So this is the oh art book. Okay. So I'm a little apprehensive to show you guys this because I don't know how suggestive this gets. But let's. Okay, that's well. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna very longly focus on any of these images. I'm sure you can find scans online. Ah, character art. That. All right, maybe. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Are bikinis banned on YouTube now? I'm not sure. Well, this video is probably not monetized anyway. Let's face it. Uh, and that is the back there. Ah, and uh, Hibari's little rabbit mascot thing there. And I believe all this really left is the game and possibly a DLC code. But no, okay. It's that's probably inside the game. Then I'm hoping anyway. Let's see, does it say if it is or not? Uh, no, okay. I'll just uh, leave that there for a second. I'm not going to give any context or comment. I want everyone in the comment section to tell me how much of a fucking degenerate I am. Uh, in not those exact words, you know, be, be creative, come up with something. So I think that's it. Uh, is it? I don't want to, like, pull off the cardboard or anything. I don't imagine. I imagine the DLC codes are indeed inside the game. Uh, I will actually go double-check that, and I'll be right back. I am back. And, uh, yeah, just to confirm, the DLC set is indeed included in the uh, PS4 case, basically. And that's the disc, if anyone wanted to see it. But, yeah, overall, I am pretty darn pleased with this. Admittedly, this wasn't the uh, cheapest special edition ever. I think this ran to £55, and I think the... Well, actually, wait, no, I think it was 60 but I think the original game was 45 So, for £15 more, you know, you get a uh, rather nice art book that I'm very scared to show you guys any more of on this. It's also got a kind of weird waxy cover, if that makes sense. It It feels like really new and stuff, but it feels like, I don't know, it's covered in a weird plastic or something, um, like a thick rubber, which is weird. And, of course, this, which I think is definitely one of the highlights to me, because soundtracks are really, really cool, and that's a lot of soundtrack there. And, of course, it all comes in a box that, hang on, please fit in, yay, it all comes in a very nice box that I can proudly present in front of all of my friends and family, a few minutes before they all stop talking to me forever, really. Um, but it'll be worth it, you know, because it'll be a memorable way to basically tell everyone to avoid talking to me for the rest of my life. I mean, one thing is it's going to be difficult to display with the rest of my PS4 games. But that is that is something I will have to deal with. The, the burden is upon me now to uh, display my fine choice in digital entertainment in a mature adult way. Anyway, thank you very much for sitting through this. It's been a very short video. Uh, if you are interested in similar stuff to this, I don't really think there's anything else on my channel like it, really. I do some unboxings, but don't expect this level of unboxing. I do review Boruto, though. If, uh, if you're into this, I don't see why you turn your nose up at Boruto, really. And of course, for all the personal friends who are watching this and you know, worrying about me. You know, I, I just like to say I have no excuse. I am just that kind of person now. I shall embrace the weeb. <laughs>